Bulls fans, Adam Harry back again with another quick Bulls unboxing. Today we're looking at the new War Machine. This is the Helios slash Hyperion uh, plastic kit. Colossal, again, Warjack. Colossal Warjack, or for the Ret faction, of course, Retribution, uh, the, the elves, if you will. Uh, very cool. I still have the plastic wrap on it. As you can see, there's the back. You can actually, again, make one miniature, but you can make either one of these variants, kind of up to you, whichever one you want. Um, pretty sure you can find ways to magnetize it, but we'll take a look at the plastic and see what all you can do. Um, this was one of the early Colossals, so I'm pretty sure they just redid it, and it's all plastic this time. So this is a plastic kit. I'm excited to take a look inside, so let's quit stalling and jump on in. All right, I can't wait to do this. Ah, I'm so excited about this one. This is such a cool looking kit already. So, here we go. Okay, so we got one package of sprues so far. We've got a second package, which is one single sprue, and then a second, a third package, excuse me, with two sprues in there. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at these all separately um, and after I get them out of the plastic, but let's take a look at what else is in the box. So you get our big giant Frisbee base. I love these, by the way. I think these are really fun to throw. Like a ninja, do your ninja star practice. Dump out the rest here. <laughs> Don't actually throw those, just kidding. Uh, we've got the instructions on how to build this thing. And again, it is a two-parter, so you can do the Helios or the Hyperion, but not both. Uh, there are some separate parts you may need. So you may have to complete the legs, look like they're for each kit, and probably the torso and some of the other main stuff here. So it kind of has a way to build it so you get to this point. And then from here, you kind of have to choose if you want to do the Helios variant or the Hyperion variant here on the back. So you can kind of see uh, how that's going to go down. I don't know if you can magnetize it. Uh, I just opened it up, so I haven't had a chance to study the, uh, the sections here to figure out what all you really could magnetize and what you can't. But if you can, it's a really fun modeling project for a weekend. But all right, so those are the, those are the rule of the instructions on how to do that. You get two sets of cards, obviously. So we have four sets of cards, and we've got the two. We'll take a look at the, uh, I'll do it in pairs. How about that? Is that is that fair? Here we go. All right, so we've got Hyperion, uh, the Colossal Warjack. Here's the damage boxes for the left and right. And then it's got force fields, because of course it does. It's red. Uh, we've got the Warjack card here. It's a speed five one, strength 17. So watch out if this thing gets a hold of you. Uh, it's got a starburst. And let's see, left field of fire has a thresher cannon, right has a thresher cannon, and then blade fist is, is swinging at you with a POW 21 for each each of those attacks. Woo! The thresher cannons are uh, range 12, D3 shots, POW 12, so pretty nasty. It's got a respectable rat and mat. <clears throat> Armor's 19, it's got that force field to kind of compensate too, so uh, some of that damage is gonna come back every round. Uh, it's got the, uh, let's see, colossal power attacks here, so it's got all that fun stuff, and then Right here, we've got the Hyperion. It's got field independent. Uh, while its field generator system is crippled, this model cannot make starburst attacks. Uh -huh. Starburst, critical consume on a critical hit. The attack hit a small base non-warcaster, non-warlock model. The model is hit is removed from play. So watch out for crits on this bad boy. And that's, uh, I, get, I believe, from the starburst. So there you go. So that's the Hyperion. And next up, we have the Helios, which is these two cards. So here's the Helios uh, stats. Speed five, strength 17 again. Uh, it's got the tractor beam, which is always fun. Uh, <laughs> and then it's got uh, Inferno Fist on the left and right fist. Again, swing and pow, 21. And it looks like it's flaming too, so hello. And then over here's the stat blocks you can see there, very similar to the other one. Uh, flipping those over, it's Colossal Power Attacks. So it was pretty standard for all the Colossals. And then over here we've got uh, all of the different uh, stuff here. It's got dual attack, uh, field dependent, force barrier, force gate, it's just a bunch of crazy special stuff there, which I'm not going to get into. I, I don't play red, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't know what they do, uh, but it's all in the card, so if you want to read that, go check it out. Uh, the force gate has broadcast power, distortion field, and repulsor field, so you can do all that crazy stuff. Um, wow, plus two defense and poltergeist distortion field. The tractor beam does force grip, Instead of causing damage, you can uh, model hit by this can be pushed three inches in any direction. It's any direction, so probably towards you as well. Uh, Inferno Fist has Flame Burst. 
Uh, when this model boxes an enemy model with this weapon, enemy models within one inch of the box model suffer the fire continuous effect. Woo! Set you on fire and then blow up your buddies too. So uh, Helios is no joke. Uh, I'm gonna cut real quick as I open these up and then we'll lay them all out and take a look too. So here's the first set of sprues that I pull out of the box. Uh, you can see it's kind of a, let me flip that over real quick. It's kind of the torso area. It's the, get that big generator thing in there. Um, wow, these plastics are really crisp, really sharp. I love the edge work on there. It's very clean. Um, very smooth looking plastics too. Can't, can't stress that enough. Uh, wow, just, it's so like well done. Like the, the very crisp molds on both of these. Um, there's the little blade arm. But yeah, fantastic job from Privateer Press getting these produced. Uh, they just look really clean. It's got a little bit of that kind of retribution style look to it. Of course, it's a giant colossal from them, so it should fit thematically in that army. Just visually, uh, it fits perfectly. So, But again, very smooth looking sculpts, very clean. Again, it's all hollow, which is nice. So if you want to run lights to this thing, <laughs> if you want to run wires and have battery packs and stuff, this would be a really fun model to do it with. So here's the first set. Here's that single sprue that we looked at um, all by his lonesome. So we'll, we'll take a look at it here. I believe those are the feet, um, if I'm not mistaken. They might not be, I'm not sure. Well, that would make sense though. Uh, and then we've got all these crazy pylons and generator things going on here. So this is very cool. I think that's actually the uh, pelvis area and then it kind of goes, that's the uh, um, the clamp in the middle, so it kind of clamps on and then you can, can attach the legs to the two sides here and then kind of go down if I'm looking at the instructions correctly. But um, very cool. So you'll actually use this sprue probably for both sets. Uh, either, either model you want to build, you're definitely gonna have to open that one up, go through those bits. And then here's the final two sprue. Uh, we have the giant <laughs> shoulder plates and stuff like that. And I'm betting this is the torso area here. Um, just fantastic looking stuff. That's pretty cool. And then more along the lines here, we've got arms and legs, I'm betting, and then ball joints. So while while it may not look like, uh, you know, very nimble from the box, <laughs> it's got all these crazy ball joints too. So I'm betting you could pose this in a lot of different ways because of the ball joints. You could probably, probably go to town uh, if you're an experienced modeler, you can have a lot of fun putting this bad boy together and just probably having some crazy pose with the arms out and all this crazy stuff. So uh, it looks really good. Again, really, really sharp uh, detail where they need it. And it's just really subtle in, in areas. I love these little designs coming along the ridges here underneath. And I love that they got the plastic to just be really smooth, um, which is what you would expect from the army that kind of reminds me of the early iPods. But that's just maybe just me. But. <laughs> That's the, uh, that's the kit. That's all the plastic and everything in the box for the Helios slash Hyperion, the new uh, kit, plastic miniatures kit for the Retribution uh, players out there for all you War Machine fans. So go check it out. Uh, hopefully it's in stores by the time you see this video. If not, I'm sorry. It'll be out later in the month of January, 2017. So really cool stuff. I'm Adam Harry from Bulls, signing off. Thanks for watching.